I do not know why this thing is so dark. It looks dark. But I'm going to go ahead and make this video anyway. Just taking a walk, trying to enjoy the sunshine, smell the, the fresh cut grass. <laughs> I just want to share a memory with us. If, if you're interested, if you're not interested, well. <laughs> but for those who might be interested, in an old man going back going back down memory lane then uh, on this busy let's get busy um, I grew up during a time of corporal punishment in school I grew up in a time where if you was a child, <laughs> you could get your butt whooped almost anywhere. Of course, you know, mommy and daddy will punish you and they will whoop that, that backside. We, we know this, okay? And uh, also in our community, you had strangers who had good intentions that might give you a licking. You know, you had other relatives that would tear your backside up because you because you was bad, you was doing something wrong. Most times, this was done, it was not done in an abusive manner. It was done because you were hard-headed and you don't listen to people, and so you got your backside toe up. You learn a lesson. There's many people who will say that they are grateful because they know they was hard-headed, and they was grateful that mommy and daddy and whoever put that thing on them. They will say, they will say that that violence, because <laughs> that's what it was, that's what it is. Corporal punishment is violence <clears throat> okay I grew up in a time where you would get your butt whooped get your butt whooped by your parents certain strangers on the street you know certain relatives uh, of course, the, the school, uh, school, and uh, the bully. The children that bully, at, bully you at school. So basically, you're going to get like four or five ass whoopings. <laughs> that's, that's how it go. That's how it was when I was growing up. Now, no man ever put their hands on me no physical man only my mother and my grandmother that was so embarrassing it was so embarrassing when my grandmother gave me a, a whipping because that came out of nowhere <laughs> and I never thought my grandmama <laughs> I never thought she would do that to me She's so kind and loving. You know how grandmas are. They, they treat their grandchildren uh, different from their actual, you know, children. But we had just moved from Mississippi to Illinois. And we were living with my grandmother. And one night... I was in my drawers and I jumped out of my bed. My sisters, we were sharing the same room, separate beds. I jumped out of my bed to my sister's bed and 
I was farting on top of I was farting on top of their head. And of course nobody. I thought it was funny myself. Yeah, I'm having a good time. My sister's crying. He farting on my head. Grandma, he Grandma, he farting on my head. Grandma. And grandma came in and gave me a warning. Grandma came in and gave me a warning. But do you think little old Angel Snup Nup 7, do you believe that I heed the warning? <laughs> no, I didn't. Because I was having fun. So I kept jumping over on my sister's bed and farting. And so my grandmother got tired of it. She's stronger than me. She's better than me. And that belt she had <laughs> was better than me. And she whooped that little ass. Boy. It was more embarrassing. It was more embarrassing. It was more embarrassing than it was the actual whipping. And my sisters got the last laugh. They was, boy, they was having a good time. They laugh. <laughs> so they got the last laugh. They got the last jokey joke. I don't know why it's, it's so dark out. It's sunny. It is sunny. I don't know why this camera is, well, it looks right now, it looks so dark. It might appear different later. But anyway, my grandmother told me up. And my mother wasn't a joke either because my mother was used to doing that heavy labor. She was not the average woman. She was used to picking cotton and that heavy labor. And she was strong. Now my mama, of course, she's not strong as a man. But she tore that butt up, no problem. And I can say, there were certain times that we did not deserve a whipping or whatever, but I cannot say it rose to the point of some people uh, of child abuse. I'm not gonna say that, I cannot say that. By the time my mother got off her rocker and she actually was showing signs of probably wanting to abuse us. It was too late. We was too grown. And uh, mama, you ain't putting your hands on me. No. Well, I, you, you know what they say. I brought you in this world and I'll take you out. Well, mama, you're going to have to take me out because these unjustified whippings that you're trying to give out, it's not gonna happen. I, I can't do it no more. So, that was over. What I wanna say here is, personally, I do not believe in corporal punishment. I do not believe in physically hurting a child. But unfortunately, many of us, we have poor communication skills. And the only thing or the only way we can express ourselves is through violence. Also, some children are very, very hard head. Now, I was hard head, but I wasn't. You know, I wasn't all out there. I listened to you. You didn't have to hit me that long. I will understand you real quick. <laughs> you don't have to beat me to death. I, I got you. But I want to talk about surviving the, the ass whooping. How do you survive one of these ass whoopings that, that uh, you get? Well... I learned 
how to survive a, a beat down is you have to over exaggerate the pain. I know my mama, she'll grab me. And the first thing I say is, mama, no, mama, no. You know good and well, she don't want to hear no mama, no. But see, that's messing with her psyche. Because you know she, she is saying, mama, yes. But the thing about a mother, and most times, it's the father who gives the punishment is because fathers don't have that paternal instinct, that connection, like mama do. So they can whoop your ass and really don't feel too much because they did not carry you. They did not suckle you. They really don't have that connection with you. So it's, it's easier for them to dish out punishment. You know, these whippings, these beatings. And that is why many men have no connection to women, period, because they have no connection to life. So it's easy for them to beat and destroy and terrorize. It's easy for them to do that with no conscience because they don't have no connection with life. So your mother, my mama would grab me and of course she would punish me for whatever it is that I did. But I would over exaggerate the pain you know, over cry and, you know, and, and, and whimper. <laughs> Mama, I want to you. <laughs> Most mothers, because of that motherly instinct, they don't want to see their children cry and suffer. And this is why some of us are very, very spoiled. We think somebody owes us something. And really, mama have good intent, but it's, it's a bad thing because this life don't give a damn about us. This life is not going to be merciful on us like that. But you know, you cry and you holler. <laughs> and you could tell it's getting to mama and she'll start backing off and leave you with a warning. I didn't... You better listen to you next time. Yeah, mama, yeah. I'm laughing to myself because it really didn't hurt. I mean, it hurt, of course. But it didn't... It didn't hurt like she thought it would. And maybe, maybe she was cool. Maybe she, maybe she was smarter than I thought, too. Maybe she understood the trick. <laughs> but that's just how mamas are. That's how mamas are. And I can't tell you, as a matter of fact, these children nowadays are very disrespectful. They have no home training. But I still would not advise violence because it just makes the situation work worse. We need, to, we need to build respect from our children because many of them do love us and learn how to communicate better. But in certain situations, especially when it's life threatening, you need to take out the belt. You need to take out the belt when it's life threatening because it's not no joke. Because if a child is rebellious to you and you're trying to give them advice when a situation is life threatening, they could lose their lives. So what do y'all think? I'm just putting this subject out here for us to talk about. Jot down your comments, subscribe, like, all that kind of good stuff, and we'll catch you on the next visit. Soul Power Forever. Peace out, y'all.